now that the Mueller report is out and the partisan spin machine is in full swing, it would be easy to just read the headlines and move on. But as John Avalon tells us, there's a lot more in those 448 pages than you might have heard. He joins us now with our reality check. You read the fine print so we don't have to. All 448 pages of it. That was the weekend homework, and it's fascinating stuff. Look, the Mueller report is repeat with buried leads and significant open questions, stories that would normally dominate headlines. So let's sort through them all through the lens of what former Defense Secretary Don Rumsfeld called known unknowns and unknown unknowns. First, WikiLeaks, Russia, and Trump. Now, despite President Trump's denials, the Mueller report makes clear that, quote, Trump publicly expressed skepticism that Russia was responsible for the hacks at the same time that he and other campaign officials privately sought information about any further planned WikiLeaks releases. The Mueller report also makes clear that Julian Assange banned the flames of the Seth Rich conspiracy theory to obscure the real source, namely the Russian GRU intelligence service. Now with Assange in custody, you can expect more information on this front going forward. Second, Russia hacked into a Florida election database. This is a big deal. Now, we know from the FBI director that Russia is still trying to interfere with our elections. What we didn't know until the Mueller report, the FBI believes the Russians were successful in hacking into at least one unnamed Florida county election database and extracted information before the 16 election. This had been denied before, even after Senator Bill Nelson pointed it out during the campaign. We also know now that an election software developer was the victim of Russian malware. Now, this does not mean that votes were changed, but it raises a lot more questions about why the federal government wasn't more forthcoming and how prepared we are to face future hack attacks. Now let's turn to the unknown unknown, starting with Cambridge Analytica. This, of course, was the data company co-founded by Steve Bannon. And up to 87 million people could have had their data taken from Facebook by CA. And last summer, a member of British Parliament said CA's database had been accessed from Russia. We also know that Team Mueller interviewed a Cambridge Analytica director who'd met with Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian embassy. And CA, which shut down a year ago, has been under investigation by the FBI and the Justice Department. So the absence of a single mention of Cambridge Analytica in the redacted report? Surprising, to say the least. Then there's the Trump-Russia money trail. With the exception of Trump Tower Moscow, the Mueller report sidesteps the so-called red line of Donald Trump's financial world. Now the House Intelligence Committee is digging into this territory, while the Ways and, Means Committee is an, Ways and Means Committee is in an epic legal fight over Trump's taxes. These are just a few of the buried leads in the Mueller report. Other questions include the role of Blackwater founder Eric Prince in funding the Find the Hillary emails effort. There's the FBI's look into an alleged link between a Trump Organization computer server and a server connected to the Russian Alpha Bank. The ongoing legal battle between Mueller and a mysterious foreign-owned company that's fighting disclosure. And we now know that Russia's disinformation campaign was laser-focused on helping Donald Trump, far more extensive than previously known, and included sending operatives here to the United States to take part in rallies and pose as activists. Now, maybe that the answers to some of these questions are hiding beneath the 36 pages of redacted text in the report, or they may be key to the 12 unknown cases Robert Mueller referred to other prosecutors. But it's all a reminder not to simply accept the top-line conventional wisdom, especially when it's delivered with partisan spin. After all, citizenship in a democracy is not a spectator sport. Roll up your sleeves and get in. And that's your reality check. There, there's only so much you can fit in 448 pages. We should, we should note that as well. It, 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 that's that's a, an, an important point. But you got to dig in. There's so much spin around this stuff. The substance is fascinating, and there's more to dig and in. And I think there's carefully and specifically written as well. That's Absolutely. why people and need And we so appreciate you doing all that, reading all the footnotes for us, Love. John.